Someone once told me that if you are happy in Venice, you're happy than you can be anywhere else. And if you're sad in Venice, you're sadder than anywhere else in the world. And there is something to that. Your, your emotions are heightened by the city. And again, it's this weird idea of being surrounded by water, being in the middle of nowhere. When you come to Venice, you have to change your, your idea of time. You have to change your idea of speed. This is something that the Venetian people has always conserved, this special relation with the water, which is uh, it's difficult to explain. It's the whole history of the city, the whole culture of the city, the artistic output of the city, is really built around this geographical, physical aspect of the, of the place itself. The water is really something that brings two aspects. One is the reflection of light on the water, and this is really something that appears in the paintings of Venice, and not just the views like Canaletto, but I think some of the light you get in paintings from Venice is very much to do with this refraction and reflection on, on water. And also the fact that if you live in Venice, you, you hear the sound of water wherever you are. And I think there is this sense of, of, of a sound of the city which is very different from any other city in the world. So I always wonder if the musical aspect of the city is something that in a way does relate to water and to being surrounded by water.